is the op dead? Now the opera role is obviously the person who holds the ratio, who snipes for the team, whether it's an entry pick or holding in a long angle on a long map. But is it a dead role? I have kind of recently thought about this question myself, and I've seen people, you know, asking about, you know, why do people not op as much nowadays? And honestly, I thought of a couple ideas, and this is not 100% accurate, but I mean, this is the best theory that I have right now, why the op role is kind of not meta right now, or uh, in general, it's just dead, really. Now, every region kind of had its own playstyle, and now that we have Americas, which combines North America and South America, and then we have Eurasia, which combines Europe and Asia, those metas are kind of shifting into each other. EU and Asia were always pretty similar, but NA and SA had very different playstyles. So I think in order to say there was a f like an actual op role, it was more so an SA. NA really never had an op role in the first place. So uh, in general, there was never a great line of players who just practice op and only use the op. Uh, in fact, there was very few, I mean, ones that I could think of off the top of my head back in like 2020-ish time, or tw even before that, 2019, um, Little B was always a big time, just sniper. Arif always used sniper. Um, Vision, uh, if anybody remembers Vision, he was always a sniper. There's some players that only used a sniper back in the day, but since about like 2020, late 2020, maybe early 2021, not many players have continued to just use the op, and a lot of those players did quit and moved on from the game that used to op. So now there's really just a line of like newer players that only use ARs or SMGs. They don't really use uh, the op. And I think that's part of the reason why the opera is kind of dead right now. But if we look back in history, in North America, the top few tier 1 teams never really used ops in general. Uh, in fact, it was very rare to actually see ops like in, in uh, I guess, in strats and stuff like that. So the opera was never really super efficient in a way, and that is partially because critical ops in general is very small maps. Even a map like this, Canals, is kind of like very, uh, I would say, sacred. like, there's B site and there's A site. There's two sides of the map. Sure, you got the whole middle area, which is really good for sniping, and this is one of the few maps that is really good for sniping, but look at every other map. It's very close quarters, a lot of, uh, you know, closed off angles, not really any great spots to snipe, and now with the scar in the game, too, it adds a whole new AR that you can have scoped, and, like, you can use it just like a sniper. You can one-tap to the head, but it's also an AR, so you can actually spray with it, too, close range. It's so much better than a, an AWP in a map like this, uh, obviously, I, I would say, you know, the op has its uh, specific qualities that are really, really good on a map like Canals, but overall, you know, Scars and ARs are really, really meta right now, and it's just, you know, the the practical amount of, like, Seahops is a close-range game. I will say, I'm going to check out a round here from the INV Aura game, um, and there's a specific round where both teams had an op, and I just want to point out that in that specific round, every single kill except for the last two were AR kills, and this is just because the way people play, uh, especially in EU, um, and, and even this round right here, like, th let's use this as an example. This round is a super fast pace, be hit by Invictus. Uh, they're just flashing in, four flashes in a row, pop, 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 pop. Uh, you know, players on site get full flash, they're running with ARs, and they're just overrunning site. If there's a sniper on B site here, that sniper is not getting a pick, or he gets one and he's done. You know, that's a that's a non-tradable position if you're in a sniper on B site. Four people flash your teammates, and now you have a sniper and you're on back site. You die, then your teammate who's flashed maybe gets one, and then he dies. That means, you know, the it's so much more efficient just to use flashes and to use, you know, uh, ARs. Um, and then in general, like, here's a round where Mixage tries to just have a U-Ratio and get some picks with the Sniper. Now they're playing super slow. Look how much the map control Aura are getting. Look at the player pushed BL because now, instead of them having, you know, a fast push or holding complete map control, they have a Sniper which they're trying to focus on, him getting a pick, and he can't get a pick. And it's just the ARs running and gunning, getting the kills. And again, that's just part of this new, younger generation of players is very run-and-gun based gameplay. So that is partially, you know, another big reason why the sniper roll is dead. And then this is the round that I want to focus on with the double snipers on both teams. Uh, you can kind of see Mixage actually drops this sniper and grabs a... S oh, he actually, he went back to it here. But either way, it's like, what was the point of him having it? It's all close engagements. All the ARs are the ones getting the pick. The snipers, both snipers on both teams at this point have not gotten the picks. It's been the AR players that have gotten the picks. I think a big part of what's going on right now is ARs can still one-tap to the head. A sniper is a one-shot to the body, sure, but you don't get multiple shots. If you're peeking into two, three people, which a lot of people play together nowadays, it's almost impractical that you're going to get more than one with a sniper. Um, 
And in this specific clip here, Rev will prove my point kind of wrong, getting a really nice 2k, but the only reason he's able to do that is because a really, really good flash setup. Uh, if he doesn't throw that flash, he's just not able to peek on the site. He might peek in and get one, but I doubt he gets the second. He full flash the guy in cafe, so that he obviously gets the second kill for free. But it's like, it's so much harder to use an AWP than it used to be. And I think if he had an AR in that situa situation, he would have literally gotten the same results as long as he threw the flash. Flash is what enabled him to be able to peek into there and make a really nice 1v2 uh, double peek. But yes, yeah, so just in general, I do think the AWP is really dead. And I don't think it's super necessary for the meta right now to use the AWP. So uh, if you guys are wondering... Will the AWP come back to meta? I don't really know, but we'll have to see, I guess, in the future. But that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I hope I answered a little bit of, you know, my working theory. And this is all working theory, which is why I talk a lot in this video. I like, I don't 100% know if this is 100% the reason, but these are things that I've noticed with the game recently. And I think it kind of does make sense for why the AWP isn't so much of meta anymore. Anyways, there's a little scrim going on in the background of the end of this video. If you guys want to see this video, uh, I, I, well, this video will be out, um, just a hundred likes and this video will be out quicker than before, um, which would probably be next week. Um, so yeah. And also comment if you guys enjoy using the Alper Knots and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Peace out.